These Peace Warriors Martial Arts Teammate Online Academy classes are brought to you by the Miami Public Library with support from the Oklahoma Department of Libraries and the Institute of Museum and Library Services. We gonna apply that pressure you thought you were safe. Anything we do from now on is not for show. Better like this go. Cause you know we go. Grind, grind. Get up and go get it. Hello and welcome to Teammate Tricking. I'm Corey, this is Axel, and across this video series we've been breaking down the combinations from this technique. We've been focused on looking at the technique as a goal and showing how we can have take a really difficult to reach goal and break it down into its smallest possible steps so that we can patiently work our way through those steps, accepting honestly where we're at and working on those steps helps us get more comfortable and more safely build the skills necessary to do some of these big fancy tricks and to achieve our biggest goals. So this week we're focused on the 1990 or the machine, depending on what level you're at. And as part of that breakdown, we're also going to be learning the Composso. Now the 1990 and the machine are essentially inverted spins on your hands, which sounds really complicated, but when you understand the body mechanics of it, there is an easy way to break this down to learn how to do it slowly through just getting comfortable with each step. Before we get started, I will remind you, make sure that you get comfortable with each step before moving on to the next one. You should always be working on a step that is a little bit of a challenge for you, but you can complete it. If you try it three or four times, five times, and you can't get it right, go back to the step before until you get really comfortable and then move up, right? Back to the step where you're having trouble. You should always feel like you're being challenged while at the same time, you should still be able to mostly pull off the level that you're at. So now let's get started breaking down this 1990. We're gonna start off, I want you to turn sideways to the screen. The leg closest to the screen is gonna be known as the front side leg, the leg farthest away will be known as the back side leg. This is a pretty universal thing in tricking so that we learn our directions better since we do things on both sides, right? So the first thing we're gonna do is start bringing this down into the beginnings of what's known as Composso. But first, we've gotta get used to taking our front side hand, that'll be the hand closest to the screen, and placing it close to our front foot or to center in between our legs. The one thing we do not want to do is reach behind us or near our back foot because it completely kills our spin. Now that's okay in the machine, which spins flat, but if we want to do a full 1990, we ought to have control of where we place our hand so we can get vertical, okay? So for the first step, we're gonna take our front side hand and all I want you to do is slightly turn and squat while you place your hand flat. Get your palm on the ground, either centered between your feet or closer to your front leg. The closer to your front leg, the better in a lot of these cases. Okay, go ahead, stand back up, and we're gonna go back down again. Point your fingers towards your back foot. I'll turn sideways, this is my back foot. See, my fingers are pointed towards it. Come up again, let's go down one more time. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and switch sides, switch feet, so I have the other leg facing, and we're gonna go down to the center, and back up. Down to the center, and back up. That's pretty simple, right? Switch feet again, and switch, and switch. Ah, just messing with you a little bit. All right, so now for the next part, we're going to start building this into Composso. Composso is basically like a spinning hook kick with the head down and the hand brushing on the ground or using off the ground to push so that we get our spin. So now what we're going to do is you're going to place your hand down in the same place and you're going to start to use it to try to spin. Don't move your feet yet, but you see how it full pulls your knees with you? I want you to feel, really focus on what that feels like because you need that start of the spin before you lift your leg. The most common basic mistake is lifting the leg before you put the hand down or putting the hand down and lifting the leg before you spin. You have to be spinning before you pick up your leg or your technique's gonna come across as weak. So let's do that on the other side a little bit. Place the hand and just feel what it feels like to start pulling towards your front leg with that hand as if you're turning towards your backside leg. So you'll basically be turning your head over your backside foot. Now once you have that down, let's go back to our original side. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that same thing, and as we start to pull for that spin, we're gonna lift our backside leg. That's the leg farthest away from the computer screen for you. Turn sideways to it. So we're gonna place that hand, start to spin, 
and then lift the backside leg and bring it as far around as we comfortably can. Now remember, we talked about this in a video before. It's important that you pick your heel up off the ground and spin on the ball of your foot. That's the part right below the toes right there because spinning on the ball of your foot like that allows you to stay in balance. If you try to spin on your heel, it kicks your hips behind your foot forcing you to have to fall into your landing so you lose control. If you try to spin on your whole foot, there's a whole lot of friction where it rubs to the ground and that can cause your knee to twist the wrong way. So make sure you're using the ball of your foot. So let's do that part again on that side. Hand down, start to turn, lift your front leg heel up a little bit, but keep the ball of the foot on the ground. Then lift your backside leg up and swing it through as far as you can. Feel free to use both hands if you want to, to walk yourself in that circle. That's fine until you get used to it. In the end, we're trying to be able to get one big push and get our foot to come all the way back behind us. It's okay if your foot only goes halfway. It's okay if you can only go here at first, okay? If you can go halfway, you'll be able to continue on to learn the machine in the 1990. So it's okay if you can't get all the way around. But we are going to go ahead and practice these going into full spin. Are you ready, Mr. Axel? So here we go, one, Hand down, pull, lift, all the way through. Try to keep your legs straight. I bent my knee to make sure I didn't kick Mr. Axel. I don't know, he might have done the same thing. Now let's switch side to the other side. Front side hand, the closest to the screen, goes down. Start to pull like we're looking towards our back leg. Lift the back leg up and watch it go through your target as you walk it in a circle with that leg straight. Now let's do that side again. Down, pull, lift the leg. There you go. Now, like I said, it's okay if you only go halfway. If you can do this, and then you have to come down, that's fine. You're gonna be, a, that's the takeoff for this technique and you're going to be able to use that to take off for this technique, it's absolutely okay. So now moving on to the next step, the next skill we're going to need to build into our machine. We need to be able to switch feet in a good sort of time while our hands are on the ground. So the next thing we're going to do, we're gonna turn, face each other for this so that you guys can kind of see us and we're gonna put both hands on the ground. So now we've got both hands on the ground. They're about shoulder width apart. They're not very wide, really close together. Elbows locked out straight. And we're going to go out kind of in a push-up position. You, you can be flat if you want to. You can be up like this. It doesn't really matter for this. Look at your feet. And what we're going to do is swing one foot up. Then while we're still in the air, switch feet and come back down on the same one you swung first. So if you swing the leg up closest to the screen, that's also the one you're going to land on. You're going to swing it up. Let the other one drag up with it, and then switch so the first one you swung up lands. Now we're going to do it on the other side. Take your backside leg, lift up, and switch. And then the other side again. It's very important to get comfortable with this motion because this is exactly what our legs do to help us make this technique spin. This is where the spin comes from. Make sure you get real comfortable with that before moving on. So for the next one now, we're gonna do facing you so you can actually see the angle, but it's almost the same thing. We're gonna put our hands down here, but now what we're gonna do is lift one leg out to the side and we're gonna swing it towards our other leg. I'll stay on the same side as Axel. We're gonna swing it towards our other leg and do that same foot switch. So instead of swinging it up and switching feet, now we're swinging it towards the leg and switching feet like that, which leaves the other leg hanging out to the side. Then go back, boom. Like I said, swing it towards the leg that's on the ground and switch feet and back. Nice. Now, I know that can feel a little difficult, but you need to be able to do that with your feet easily in order to be able to pull off the machine. So now, once you get comfortable with that, let's go on and move to the next step. For the next step, we're gonna go back to our Compasso takeoff, which is where we took our front side hand, we put it on the ground, and we were starting to spin, right? Now, this isn't exactly the machine. I want you to stay very, very low on this one because we're not bringing our second hand in yet, but the second hand is ultra important for this. So what we're gonna do, start sideways to the screen, front side hand goes down to the middle. As you start to pull, your backside leg is gonna to swing towards the other one. Keep it low to the ground, and as you swing it, switch feet. I don't want you to hold yourself up on one hand though. Just do it quickly and low to the ground. So let's do another one. Bring the hand down, start to spin, first leg comes up towards the other leg, and switch. Very good. You might lose balance at this part pretty regularly. That's okay. This is why the second hand becomes important, but I want you to get a feel for what it's like to spin. All right, so we're gonna split the other side. Take the front side hand down, 
Backside leg will swing towards the other leg, and they will switch. So let's go again. Stay close to the ground. You're basically spinning around your hand that's on the ground. Now, once you got that part down, it's time to talk about timing to finish the machine portion of this. Timing should be one, two, three, four. It can be faster or it can be slower. Honestly, the slower the timing, the better looking the technique will be. This one should feel like it stalls in the middle, right? So, what we're gonna do for this one is the same thing. We're gonna put our first hand down, but this time, as we start to swing that first leg across, that's when we place the other hand down. The second hand goes down when both feet end up in the air. So it goes one, then both feet come up, and then two is the second hand going down. Three and four are each of the feet coming down at the end. One, two, three, four, okay? So, can't do it that slow the first few times. You're probably gonna have to rely on some speed, but we'll try to put that together. Front side hand, down, start the same thing we were doing a minute ago, but this time when your feet leave the ground, put the other hand down. Oh, we kicked each other. I'm gonna back up so Axel can do this and we don't hurt each other. All right, go ahead and do it again. Front side hand down, back side leg lifts. As the other leg comes up, the second hand comes down, and the legs switch, just like we did earlier. Switch sides for me, Axel. Do it on the other side. Nice, good job being slow. Now you don't have to worry about getting that vertical yet. Axel's been practicing getting his more and more vertical and you can see it's really paying off, but it's okay to flat spin. Let me do a couple to show them what the flat spin looks like. So the flat spin is where I throw my leg in a flat circle as we do this, and it looks like that. It's where I forcefully keep my legs closer to the ground. That is known as the machine. Now. Work on that timing. Think in your head. One, two, three, four. Let me count it loud. One, two, three, four. The longer the delay, the slower it is between switching hands, the prettier your technique's going to look. And when you put your second hand down, not long after that, you'll pick your first hand back up. One, two, and then I pick my first hand back up at the same time as three. My second hand comes up at the same time as four to make this technique proper. It's all one, two, three, four. I'll show that one more time. One, two, three, four. And my both hands are up now. Now that's known as the machine. Now, if you get comfortable with that, the next, there's two next levels of that. The, ne the, the next level, they're one of those next levels we're not covering here, but you can search it out, is known as the spider. And it's a butterfly, it's a flat spin technique with no hands on the ground, but you swing your legs in the same way we do for a machine. Now that's not the one we're covering today though. Today we're going to move on, use that skill to move up into what's known as a 1990, which is a spin on the hands, okay? Now, you really have to be comfortable with your flat spin first. And what we're going to do for this one, all you have to do now is when you place that first hand down, instead of swinging your leg in a circle towards your other leg, you want to swing it, as you put your hand down, you want to turn completely away, turn your toes completely away from the direction you're going so that you can take your backside leg and swing it straight up instead of in a circle. This lets you get more vertical, but it requires the same timing as the machine, and it comes out where your feet get straight in the air. We slide off for a second axle. So this one goes, one, see how I turned a little farther than I typically would for a machine? Then the second leg will shoot straight up instead of around in a circle. One, two, three, four. And that would be known as your 1990. Have patience, guys. It takes a lot of practice to do this. And make sure that you remember your courtesy. That's about being nice, but it's not just about being nice to others. It's about being nice to yourself as well. And one of the things to always remember is if you've got trickers in your area, you've got people that do tricking, you see them at the park, most trickers are super nice people. If you express an interest in learning, they will help you. But you've got to use your humility and show courtesy and respect to them, and they'd be more than happy to help you with this stuff too. Also, anytime you want, reach out to us at Peace Warriors Martial Arts, hashtag teammate, I'm teammate tricking at oaklandkicks.com, and I'll be happy to give you a little extra help as well. So best of luck working on your uh, achieving your biggest goals. And remember that no matter how big your goal is, if you can break it down into small pieces that you can do today and add small pieces onto it as you go, you can achieve anything that's possible. So until we see you guys again, be the best teammate you can be, be the best at being you.